Elephant seals are marine mammals, and so they rely on ocean resources to make a living. But every year when they need to give birth, they come onto land and they haul out on beaches along the California coast. And so unlike many marine mammals that are fully aquatic, the seals are available to researchers for part of the year. So we are able to drive about 30 minutes up the coast from our institution at UC Santa Cruz and see the seals. We can uh, give them flipper tags when they're pups so we know how old they are and where they're born. And we can keep track of those individual seals year after year so we can begin to link ocean health with seal success in order to figure out how the ocean is doing and how the ocean is impacting the marine mammals they call it home. We're really interested in studying the adult females because they're the ones getting pregnant and giving birth and raising their pups. They come back year after year in order to give birth. So during that breeding season, they haul out for about a month. And then when they are finished with the breeding season, they go off on a short migration that lasts about two and a half months. And then they come back again for the molt where they replace their fur every year. After that, they go on a seven month migration out into the Northeast Pacific Ocean. And then they come back for that breeding season. And they do that over and over year after year. The seals are traveling northwest almost every time. Um, they're doing about 10,000 kilometers round trip during that seven month migration. So they're literally making it halfway to Japan and back, which is a pretty extraordinary feat for a marine mammal. For a couple decades now, a lot of researchers have been pioneering the use of miniaturized technology that can be carefully glued to animals. And the animals carry those technologies and then bring them right back. So the technologies can measure anything from physical environmental characteristics like the temperature of air and water or the salinity of the ocean. They can measure things like video and audio so we can get a better sense for what the seals are seeing or hearing. They can also measure location, where the seals are going and depth, how deep they're diving. And more recently, accelerometers have been able to tell us where the seals are feeding. So the sensors can give us a whole ton of information about where the seals are going, how deep they're diving, how successful they're being, which environmental metrics are predicting their success. And they can bring all of that information on this cell phone size tag right back to the beach where we can carefully remove the instruments, download the data, and learn a lot about the conditions of the ocean in the middle of the North Pacific. Elephant seals are one of the most successful conservation success stories. Uh, humans hunted them to near extinction about 100 years ago, and then the Mexican government and then eventually the U.S. government put protections into place so that people stopped hunting seals. And the seal population was able to rebound, so there really hasn't been a more important time to continue long-term monitoring programs and support for science. And I hope that we'll be able to continue this program many decades into the future.